What's up everybody, Freebooter here, and this is what I sold over the last three days. So I only sold four things, but I, I don't even have 60 items up on eBay. These were all sold on eBay. So, uh, yeah, I don't even have 60 items yet. I think uh, about five days ago I had 30. I've been getting up a few items here and there. Anyways, first I sold these dolls. I think these are about, let me check the height on these real quick. I think they're about 11 inches tall. This guy is 16 inches tall and this guy is 15 inches tall. And the only identification I could find on these was this one has Made in Italy. So I pulled these in a box of toys I paid 20 bucks for a few months ago. These are very similar to a brand called Rolden Clump, spelled R-O-L-D-A-N-K-L-U-M-P-E, Clump, Rolden Clump. And this is obviously Puss in Boots. They're both from Nursery Rhymes. And this is going to be the Pied Piper. I did a bunch of research on these and I could not find any that were just like them. The only thing that could identify them, like I said, was that Made in Italy sticker on the bottom of his foot. But nobody has ever seen these. I went into a bunch of identification groups on Facebook and I just couldn't find them. So I just put, uh, what did I call these? I called them uh, Made in Italy, Cloth Dolls, Puss in Boots, Pied Piper, Rolled in Clump Style. So I just called them Rolled in Clump Style. Rolled in Clump is made in Spain. These are from Italy. So this, the toys that I found these in, a lot of toys, a lot of them were from the 50s and 60s. So I don't, I really don't, I mean obviously they're super rare, but I don't know much about them. And so I, I, I first put these up for $600. They didn't sell. I put them up for $600 a best offer because I've seen Rolled in Clump stuff sell from anywhere from $10 to like $350 for one figure for the old vintage stuff. So I put these up for $600 and then I put them at like $400 and then I went to $300 and then I went to $200 and then eventually I finally got down to $100 free shipping on them and they sold. But like I said, I got them in a box full of toys for $20. And I got all sorts of cool toys in there. Really cool. Stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show some close-ups of this stuff. Next, I sold three newspapers. This one, the Oracle, sold for yeah, $45 plus $250 shipping. And this is an old hippie newspaper. Always keep an eye out for these psychedelic hippie newspapers. People love to put these on their wall. They have some really cool art. This almost, I mean, this is a... Uh, like a psychedelic. This actually has an artist's name on it, Electra, E-L-E-K-T-R-A. I don't know if that's a girl or a guy or a team or what, but they did a bunch of artwork for this magazine or a newspaper. June 1967, volume one, number three, sold for $45 and $250 shipping. This has a bunch of cool ads in it too. Next, we sold two calendars out of the New York, or excuse me, Los Angeles Times. Now, the calendar is a section out of the newspaper where they talk, where they uh, talk about like um, theater and music albums and movies and stuff like that. So they're going to have movie ads. See Doc Savage right there, The Exorcist, all sorts of really cool stuff. Like I said, stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to show you some of the cool stuff. So this one, this one actually sold to a, a Jaws collector. His name was actually Jaws collector. And the uh, photo, what you want to do when you're selling these, you can either cut the full, full page ads out and sell them. Now, I don't actually know, I don't have a lot of experience cutting the ads out of these things, out of these papers. Some people have told me to do it, but that's not really my style. I don't want to have a bunch of cut up pieces of newspaper all over the place. I just really don't feel like doing that. So I just take 12 pictures of the coolest ads in these. And I sold this paper, uh, this paper was $45. And then this one I sold for $50. So the picture, my front page one, or the first picture I had, the one like if you're scrolling through eBay, the one that you're going to see was a full page ad for Jaws. And this is from 1975. 
I think it was right after Jaws came out. So it was a Jaws collector who bought that. I'm not, I'm not really sure how much I could have got for just that Jaws picture. I might have been able to get like $30 just for that picture, but that's just really not the way I'm going to do this. I don't like to have stuff sitting around for too, for too long. So now this one sold for $50 and it has some staining, some moisture staining over here all the way throughout. But this actually had a, a Lucas, this was a 1977, so this was right after Star Wars came out. And it had an article by George Lucas and also a full page ad of Star Wars. So this sold the same day that I put it out. I probably could have got more. I probably should have put this up for like $100 or best offer or something like that. Or maybe just sold the ad. But like I said, I, I don't want just like a bunch of cut up newspaper stuff all over the place. So I pulled both all of those, all the newspapers, out of an estate sale for free. A guy, I, I've actually talked about this in some previous videos, but I have a friend who gets free stuff from estate sales. They just He just goes and cleans out estate sales. Whatever they don't sell, he gets for free. And then he comes out to the flea market and sells it. Well, sometimes he just has too much and he says, Eric, come and get the stuff. He didn't, know, he didn't know about newspapers, so I got a whole box full of these things for free. I probably got about $1,000 worth of newspapers. I, I mean, they're pretty easy to list. They're pretty easy to ship. I'm going to ship these media mail and, um, you know, 50 bucks each. So I already sold, I think, five of them. I put them up like five days ago, so I made, you know, over 200 bucks, and it was free. So, yeah, definitely keep an eye out for those. And that's all I got for today. I got a really cool video I'm working on for tomorrow. Thanks for watching. All right, so P.S. guys, um, I actually didn't feel like I explained the uh, what do they call it? The calendar part of the newspaper. So, like I said, it is a a, a section out of the Los Angeles Times, and it's also in some other newspapers. So when you're when you see an old newspaper from like the 60s or 70s or something like that, there's different sections to it. So you got the main section here. And then, um, let's see here, you, like this is an ad section, you got the funny sections. Look for the part that says calendar, C-A-L-E-N-D-A-R, in case you don't know how to um, spell that. You got times, classifieds, uh, classified, see, uh, the uh, view, there's all sorts of different sections in the newspaper. And this is actually a full Los Angeles Times newspaper from 1960. 77 or 1976 July 4th right here now I don't really want to sell this entire newspaper maybe that'd be worth money if I was going to I probably oh, see here's the calendar section this is actually the complete 1976 paper oops and just I find the calendar section to be really cool like I said because it has those full page ads I haven't even looked at this yet but see, it has like full page ads from newspapers that are kind of hard to find. We got Walt Disney Productions pre presents Gus. Let's see if we can find another cool ad. And even the, uh, even, it's it's also got like, sometimes you'll find some, uh, some concert ads in here. Let's see if we can find a cool one here. And there's all sorts of cool stuff in the, uh, in the calendar section. <clears throat> so any of the ads are pretty cool. Okay, yeah, see we got like this. The British are coming, Peter Frampton, Anaheim St Stadium. See, that, that kind of ad is really hard to find. So you might, oh, this is really cool. Check this out. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. Ted Nugent, uh, Uriah Heep, Bob, Bob Seger, Flo, Eddie, and Kiss. Look at that. That is pretty sweet. That you might want to take out. I, You know, I could have probably cut some of the pages out of the other ones too. But, you know, you do what you do. So, I don't know. What do you think that Kiss, that Kiss ad can go for? A concert ad, Celebrity America, Disneyland. Let's see here. What else we got? And you got some cool interviews with people. Oh, comedian Richard Pryor. Yeah, see, they got a Richard Pryor ad. Comedian Richard Pryor will appear Friday and Saturday nights on stage at the Roxy Theater. It's just a tiny little one. But... 
So yeah, look for the calendar. I mean, ch check this out. Mel Brooks' silent movie. That's really cool. Actually, one of those other ones has one I kind of wish I would have kept. It was uh, one for Young Frankenstein. I, I really actually wish I would have kept that. Check, I mean, check this out. You got Clint Eastwood in there. That's just badass. And a lot of this stuff you can't find anymore. So, yeah, keep an eye out for the calendar section of the newspaper. And that's really it. Peace out, guys.